Hi guys, welcome to Chidre's Tech Tutorials educational YouTube channel. If you scroll down, you find Web Design and Development Tutorials section. In Web Design and Development Tutorials section, if you scroll to the right side, you find Bootstrap 5 Tutorials playlist. If you click on View Full Playlist, you find all my Bootstrap tutorials where I'm explaining Bootstrap in depth and step by step, guys. In this video, I would like to discuss Bootstrap Order classes. By default, columns are displayed in a row. In the order, they are defined in the HTML. By default, columns are displayed in a row. In the order, they are defined in the HTML. We can change visual order of columns using Bootstrap Order classes. We can change display order of columns in a row using Bootstrap's order classes, guys. Let's have a demo and understand. First, I am going to create a container. I am going to copy this code and paste in my page. Here I have a div, opening div, closing div with a class border, border primary. It is going to have a blue border and I am using the container class. That means this div or container is going to be center aligned. I say here container. I save it, go to browser and reload my page. You can see that container is center aligned. If we want to fully stretch the container, then what we do guys? We use container dash fluid class. I save it, go to browser and reload. You can see it is fully stretched container. I want center aligned container. So instead of using container fluid, I use container class. I save it, go to browser and reload. You can see that again, the container is center aligned. I told you container is collection of rows. We add rows into containers. For that, I take this div, copy and paste inside the container. Opening div and closing div. You can see I have a div with a class of border, border danger and row. Row is used to create a row and it is going to be a red color row. Here I say row 1. I save it, go to browser and reload. You can see that row 1 is added in the container. Right? We can add more rows if required. I also told you that row is a collection of columns. To the row, we add columns. To add columns, again, I take help of the div. I paste it here. And you can see that I'm using the class border border info. That means it is going to be sign column column one. I copy this and paste down. I say here column two. I save it. Go to browser. If I reload first column one is displayed next column two. refresh column one column two. If I want, I can add more columns. Copy paste paste. I say here three and four. I save it. Go to browser and reload. Column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4. So that's what I am telling here. By default, columns are displayed in the row. In the order, they are defined in the HTML. Right? And you can see here, if I want, I can simply say, if I want, I can simply say here, order dash 1, order dash 2, order dash 3, order dash 4. Okay? So, what happens? These columns are displayed in the same order in all the devices. You can see I am not using any responsive breakpoint here. I told you if we don't use any responsive breakpoint, indi it indicates excess in extra small screen device and above. Right here, we are not defining responsive breakpoint. We are only mentioning order and the order number. We are not using responsive breakpoint. That means in the extra small screen device and above. That means in all the devices, in all the devices, our columns are displayed in the same order 1, 2, 3, 4. I save it, go to browser and reload. You can see here in the extra small screen device 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. In the small screen device also 1, 2, 3, 4. In the medium screen 1, 2, 3, 4. In the last screen 1, 2, 3, 4. In the extra last screen 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is the meaning of without responsive breakpoint. If you use the order, order 1, order 2, order 3, order 4. That means they are displayed in this order in all the devices. Let's say in the medium screen, okay, in the medium screen and above, okay, MD. What is the meaning of MD? I told you MD means in medium screen device and above, means in, in LG, in Excel, in XSL. In all these devices, I want to display the columns in reverse order. Then I can override with the help of responsive breakpoint. So what I do in my code, I copy this order one, okay, space, paste it, and here I say MD dash. 4. I want in the reverse order, right? So MD4. Copy this. Paste, paste, paste. Here I say 3. Here I say 2. Here I say 1. I am telling column 4 should be displayed first. 
then column 3, then column 2, then column 1. In the reverse order, they should be displayed in the medium screen and above. Whereas in extra small screen and small screen device, they are displayed in the ascending order 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's save it, go to browser and reload. You can see the order is changed 4, 3, 2, 1. In medium screen, in large screen, 4, 3, 2, 1. In the extra large screen, 4, 3, 2, 1. Only in the extra small screen device, 1, 2, 3, 4. And in the small screen device, 1, 2, 3, 4. In extra small screen and small screen, 1, 2, 3, 4. Whereas in the medium LG XL, 4, 3, 2, 1. In the reverse order, we are displaying guys. So this is how we can override the display order. Okay, we are overriding the display order with the help of responsive breakpoints and the order class in Bootstrap guys. Okay, we can display as we want. Let's say in extra large screen device, I want to display, first I want column 4, okay, let's go here and write the code, okay. I'm going to copy this and paste here, paste here, paste here, paste here, okay. Now what I want, in the extra last screen device, column 4 should be first, okay. In the extra last screen device, column 4 should be displayed first. And then column 1 should be displayed in the second place, okay. In the extra last screen device column 1 should be displayed in the second place okay and then column 3 should be displayed in the fourth position column 3 should be displayed in the fourth position and remaining is 3 2 should be a 3 so if i save this go to browser and reload you can see that their order is changed 4 1 2 3 right so you can definitely override the display order with the help of or change the visual order of the columns in a row with the help of order class and responsive breakpoint guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to try this yourself. Okay. Try it yourself. Experiment. You get more clear idea guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. In the upcoming video tutorials, we'll discuss more about bootstrap in depth and step by step. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.